We all hate fungus gnats. Let's talk about it. Hey, Lee here, helping you become a better plant parent. If you came to this video because you have a fungus gnat problem, then you're in luck. I'm gonna share four methods to get rid of your fungus gnats. But stick around because I'm gonna try to convince you that managing this pest problem is actually the most time and cost effective way to dealing with fungus gnats. Before we get started, it's also important to know that the lifespan of the fungus gnat is between three to four weeks and the lifespan of an adult fungus gnat is around eight days. So whatever method you use for eliminating these fungus gnats, you need to make sure that you're doing it repetitively for more than four weeks. The first method is a combination between diamaceous earth, hydrogen peroxide, and sticky traps. Diamaceous earth can be used for pest control because when insects come in contact with this powder, it dries out the oils on their skin, which kills the insects over time. The problem with diamaceous earth is that you need to spread it over the topsoil of all of your plants. And when you water your plants, some of the diamaceous earth can wash off or wash into the soil. So that does mean every time you water your plants, you may need to reapply this. You could switch to bottom watering, but if you have a lot of plants, this turns a one minute task into a whole 20 minute ordeal. This may not be the best choice for a lot of people. When it comes to hydrogen peroxide, you can use a 3% hydrogen peroxide solution, mix that with water, and then use that to water your plants. The hydrogen peroxide will help kill the eggs and larvae in the soil, and it will disrupt the life cycle of the fungus gnats. You also need to place traps in every single plant that you own. Larger plants should have multiple traps. The next method is to use a systemic insecticide and combine that with the use of traps and hydrogen peroxide. A systemic insecticide usually comes in a liquid solution that you use while you're watering your plant. Eventually your plant absorbs the toxins of the insecticide and it goes into the soil, stem, roots, and the leaves of your plant. When insects feed on that material, the insects die off. These pesticides are regulated and banned from personal use in Canada, and I do have a lot of concerns about the runoff from these materials as they slowly build up in our environment. While these systemic insecticides do work really well, if you're at a point in your plant journey where you can start thinking about environmental sustainability, it is a really important conversation that I think we should be having. Another strategy you could use is mosquito bits combined with hydrogen peroxide and sticky traps. Using mosquito bits in your water that you use to water your plants or sprinkling them over the topsoil of your plants can be an effective method to controlling fungus gnats. The active ingredient in mosquito bits is a bacillus bacteria that feeds on fungus gnat larvae. The important thing to know is, is that it only feeds on the larvae, so the eggs and the adults will go untouched. It's really important to keep using this in combination with hydrogen peroxide for the eggs and sticky traps for the adults. And for Canadian viewers, the active ingredient in mosquito bits is the same active ingredient in mosquito dunks. Unfortunately, I haven't seen anywhere that we can get mosquito bits in their granular form. Another good method to control the population of fungus gnats is through the use of nematodes. Nematodes are great because you only need to apply them once and they'll start to feed on fungus gnat larvae and slowly kill them over time. Unfortunately, they only eat larvae, so you do still need to use sticky traps to control the population of adults. If you use hydrogen peroxide in your soil, it will also get rid of the nematodes, so it's important to wait until you think that your fungus gnat population is under control before finishing with a cycle of hydrogen peroxide. Once the nematodes don't have anything to feed on, they may choose to feed on some of your live plant matter, so it's important to control their population as well. And if you want to give yourself nightmares, look in the description to see how nematodes actually attack fungus gnats. It's crazy. Unfortunately, if you have a medium to large size plant collection, I don't think that you can get rid of fungus gnats permanently. Once you notice that your fungus gnats are gone, you stop using these treatment methods, you wait a year, and your fungus gnats come right back. You have too many plants, these treatment methods are very time consuming, and I don't think it's realistic for you to completely eliminate all of the fungus gnats in your home permanently. I don't think it's a good use of your time. So here's what I do to manage fungus gnats in my plant collection. The first thing is to improve your soil biology. 
Fungus gnats eat fungus. If you have healthy, good bacteria in your soil, that bacteria will eat the fungus in your soil, which will dramatically reduce the food source for fungus gnats. Specifically, I use endophytic and rhizospheric microbes, which lead to healthier plants, and they have the added benefits of combating fungus gnats. I started using a microbial inoculant this year and I've noticed much fewer fungus gnats when compared to the same time last year. I use this in conjunction with sticky traps on some of my larger and my more water loving plants like my birds of paradise and I've been able to control the fungus gnat population by spending less time and less money on pest control methods. Yes, fungus gnats are annoying, but unless you have an insane infestation where you can barely take a breath without inhaling fungus gnats, they're probably not going to be feeding on the roots of your plant. So overall, they're really not that harmful to your collection. Affiliate links to all the products I recommended are in the description down below. And leave a comment if you've tried any of these methods before, but be honest, tell me how long it took for you to notice the fungus gnats were back. Like this video if it was helpful and consider subscribing. See you next time.